to achieve net zero, we need everybody to, to collaborate. So we need governments to completely change the regulations because regulations are, have been made for fossil fuels. Now we need to have regulations that will allow more renewable energies and clean energies to be integrated and to transform the systems. We need business to take the lead, to go in advance, to discover new ground so that others will follow. We need civil society to hold them accountable, accountable for progress, but at the same time to reward those that are doing a good job. I think the European Parliament has to make sure that we have a good mindset when it comes to digital issues. And unfortunately, I think the narrative is more on the negative side at the moment. So we have to make sure that we see the, have a new mindset so that we see the possibilities of utilizing artificial intelligence to, to meet all those challenges we have, not least with the sustainability issues. And the other thing that we see that is a major roadblock in all of this is the famous green premium. The fact that it simply costs too much to go green. And what we need to do is get to a situation where going green is affordable for everyone. And that's when you'll have a real revolution on your hand. It's a matter of taking it to scale, not just because scale is good, but because scale will bring the price down make the technology available to everybody and then you'll see real improvement. It's very important the way we see technology uh, in this whole process and we have to see technology as an enabler. The goals of the green transition are very ambitious, they're very necessary, but if we do not change the way we perceive tech, it will be difficult if not impossible to achieve those goals. The European Commission is committed to helping uh, innovators uh, develop new digital solutions that can help make our energy system more efficient and, uh, and with a greater uh, penetration of renewable energy sources, be it with some financing uh, through our uh, programs, but also uh, through our policies and also the enabling environment that we want to put in place. What we're consistently observing is that startups continue to be at the very forefront uh, of innovation, almost on every function. We are making the green energy transition um, efficient and profitable by using uh, AI capabilities both within energy trading but also within energy storage asset optimization. The mission of the Clean Energy Accelerator is really to accelerate the deployment and adoption of clean energy technologies through two things, co-innovation and um, through uh, experimentation for the benefit of people and the planet. The European Commission and the European Space Agency in the last decade has, has invested a lot in, for example, the Copernicus mission, which is a remote sensing program for uh, using satellite imagery. And we are using that imagery in combination with uh, additional uh, products and solutions to create software and use that uh, solutions as a decision support system for our uh, users in order to be more sufficient and uh, ecologically friendly and to sustain green uh, evolution and emission. I would like to think as a tech realist and also as a tech optimist uh, that we have to focus our work on the perils but also on the opportunities and in this particular case when it comes to the twin transitions we of course need to regulate where it's necessary but we need to see AI as an enabler more than anything and I think particularly when we speak about AI and sustainability Europe has a niche where it can champion and that's called clean tech. I'd like to see an AI lighthouse to speed things up I think if we, if we could in Europe create a center of excellence when it comes to research on artificial intelligence and especially when it comes to artificial intelligence and sustainability, I think we can create the right climate for attracting uh, talented people from around the world to establish businesses that will solve the solution for the environment for the future. The thing that I would say to organizations that are thinking about how they might leverage AI to address uh, energy and sustainability initiatives um, is, is one uh, to understand it's an enabler. Uh, it is going to provide great uh, power and capability uh, for uh, you as an organization to be able to innovate. 
but we have to do that with sort of the context and awareness of the great responsibility that this uh, power or this technology provides.